Hey Mac, this is your guy friend Ben, and I have a little request for you. Uh, see, I left something in Iowa City, and I think you're the only one who's going to be able to go get it, because you know the location. If, uh, see, I left about 1,000 tiny galoshes in a box about this big in a uh, your apartment from last year. And I say thousand, I mean I mean a thousand pairs. So we have about two thousand of these suckers in that box. And so you're gonna have to go up and get my galoshes. You go to your South uh, Dodge apartment that you lived in last year. You knock on the door and you say I gotta get the galoshes. And I don't fucking care who lives there. You're gonna be able to just walk past them without hearing what they have to say. You can push past them like a cowboy saloon door. Um, and you, they don't even listen to what they're saying. You gotta go back to that refrigerator, next to the refrigerator, the drawer next to it. You open that up. In the back, there's my box. I need those galoshes. I started a business venture. It's called Whittle World Leaders. That's Whittle as in a mispronunciation of like Whittle, Little. Mispronunciation that a little small child might make of Whittle. Whittle. Cute. Whittle world leaders. And so I make very small statues of, uh, you know, respected politicians throughout time. And people, they fucking love this shit, okay? I got people who buy my Whittle world leaders, they put their favorite ones on their mantle. So when people come over, they say, hey, did you see Tony Blair over here? My little Tony Blair? Did you see my tiny Lennon? No. Come check it out. So, you know, I can't continue the venture without the galoshes because, unfortunately, I'm not Mother Nature. And when I go out, when it's raining, I gotta still make these deliveries, you see. And these politicians are easily corrupted by rain. And I'm not gonna sell any goddamn paint-chipped pieces of junk to people. Okay? These are respected politicians. We need to show our respect by keeping them clean, keeping them unbroken. So that's why I need my galoshes. Otherwise they break, they get wet, and paint comes off. So get these small galoshes for me. And you know, if you do, there's a couple things in store for you. I left in that little drawer I left you a little Eva Perone that I made with my own hands. It's a little Eva Perone. Because I know you, I know you love that musical. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> you love that shit, you know. And so I made, I knew you did. So I made you a little Eva Peron. That's yours. You can keep a pair of galoshes for it too. Also, I can tell you the location of some gigantic galoshes that I made on the edge of town of Iowa City. Gigantic galoshes, because my little tiny shoesmith. When he makes my small galoshes, he likes to draw from the biggest possible model that his clients can give him. So I made, you know, 30, 30 feet tall galoshes on the edge of town. Very detailed. You can sit. It's a great place to just sit and read a book. So, you know, if you could get these galoshes, it would mean the world to me. So... I need to, you know, it's a great way to make some extra cash for little world leaders. Whittle world leaders. Tell your friends and, uh, send the galoshes my way.